This video is a bit different to my usual ones because I've just finished year 10 so that means I finished my year 10 GCSE arts book and I ended up getting an A plus on this 74 out of 80 so I must have been pretty damn close to an A star I have had to cover up my um, details up there because you know my name and stuff so let's get into it this is the first page, it's about Razor Aberdeeny and it's Razor Aberdeeny is one of the most um, famous graphic designers in Iran this is a research page on him, he's some artist and I like this section, this writing but I feel like the pictures around it are pretty, um, I don't know, boring and plain but for a first piece I think it was alright and now we're still on Razor Aberdeeny but we had to create a poster for this charity called Amnesty International which um, want to stop war and all that so I've got the bird, the dove and that symbolises peace and then the the words torture, violence, murder are trapping it um, trapping it with all these words like part of the bird if you kind of get me so there we go, there's the bird with some words scattered around it and this was a this was kind of like um, a test kind of just to test what we kind of want for the final piece and this was the final piece but I actually prefer this one uh, but it's still alright, I think I got a good score on it anyway so it's alright and this was homework and the amount of magazines I went through to find all these letters was unbelievable but we had to have a good word and a bad word like but mixed together so you got freedom and then dominate or like peace and evil so let's move on so all that past pieces were all on in the style of Razor Aberdeeny but now we're doing it in the style of Peter Arkell who is another artist so this is a research page but in the style of him and they're just repeated the same information again and again to fill up space and this was homework and we had to draw a few items in the style of Peter Arkell and then write about them and that telephone box is like my favourite thing in the whole book, I love it Moving on, this is a page about, ooh, this was a while ago, oh how technology is taking over the brain and we have to like do a piece on that but in the style of Peter Arkell, so I've got the uh, bunch of technology in the brain, like Nokia brick in there and then the brain's been like splattered on the wall and he's all like ooh why would you do this to me and the guy's like deep speaking computer stuff because he's been taken over by computers so that's the idea for this page. Um, Still in the style of Peter Arkell and um, we've got, we had to draw a galaxy bar and this was like the best lesson ever because we actually got the cheat to eat the chocolate afterwards which was good. So we've got, so good it's out of this world, that's my poster for galaxy. And then this, so this one was a bit depressing, this um, it was like this poem about this girl who ended up hanging herself because of like cyberbullying. So we had to create a page on that, so in the poem it says she hangs herself with a tie so You've got the tie here, but in the tie are the um, words that are in the poem, like um, um, she swings and pose, click, you know, all that stuff. And a bunch of phones in the background. Moving on for Peter Arkell now. This is a page about cards. Oh, and this pops out. Hold on, let me sort this out. There we go, that's kind of, can you see? Can you tell? Can't really tell, but that pops out. Um, so you got the jack in the corner with a bunch of suits with some cutouts. This is the one of my favourite pages, I love it. And um, this is the four elements. You got your wind, fire, earth, um, hold on, no that was water and that was wind. And we had to turn the four elements into the suits for cards. So, and you know, replacing like diamonds and hearts and stuff. And these would be the aces for the cards, but I've tried to do them in the same shape as the actual card suit. So we've got your diamond, your heart, your club and your spade. I get them mixed up, I don't really know which one's which. But Moving on. Oh and this, I never ended up finishing this. So hopefully if I finish this and I get it marked again, I'll get into an A star. That would be the dream. But the idea for this page was going to be Swan Lake, because I'm into Bali and all that stuff. So. You know, it would have been good, but we never got round to doing it because David Bowie died. So we had to do a bunch of stuff on David Bowie. So this was kind of um, a recreation, not a recreation, we just had to kind of make our own CD cover for him. Oh, and this book isn't in order. Wait, hold on. I did this first. 
This was a page on David Bowie, so we've got a drawing of him and one in Biro, and then um, one of his song titles. Um, I wrote it and then cut it out and stuck it around. This is actually one of my favourite pages as well. I love it. And then we did a big page about scissors. I actually ended up doing this page completely wrong. I got told that we just had to do a collage of scissors, so this is what I did. But apparently we did it, I did it completely wrong, so I didn't get a really good score on that. It was supposed to be really clean and it was supposed to be a blue background, but I was not informed about that, so that kind of annoyed me. So I have to do, redo this page again. So hopefully, yeah, if I redo this page, I'll get into the A stars. Um, this one, I'll let me take this out. This is a new artist we're doing about, Andrew Joseph. And she likes to draw in biro, coloured biro, so um, that was one of her pieces that I stuck in, but the rest of it is all things I've drawn, like a miniature stapler and uh, a camper van. This is a recreation of one of her drawings, and so is that. And then just a few photocopies of something I've drawn. And then this was what we had to do for, this was a practice for the actual exam at the end of year 10. We did it last Friday, a whole day of just doing art. Um, and that was all done in Biro and a few extra pieces here. Like this was a recreation of Andrew Joseph's work, we had to copy it. And then here are some keys I drew. And then a bunch more scissors for when I redo that scissors page I was talking about. Oh, and there's some badges that I photocopied for our, um, that page. Uh, like that one. There you go. I think that's pretty much it. I'll show you the piece of work that I did for my art exam. So this is what I did for my art exam. Um, we had five hours to do this pretty much all the day at school. I pre-drew that, the pen and the watch before the exam because these individual items took like five hours to draw them just by themselves. So besides them, I did all of this in the exam and this was a practice for that. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. That's it, that's all my art book. This is all the work I did in year 10. Um, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button or subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.